the pen is mightier than the sword. When we use this phrase, we are usually not referring to the pen itself, but we are referring to the words that are written with the pen. And words, words are such a powerful tool regardless if it's spoken or written. It educates us, it inspires us, and it motivates us. However, it is also these words that are used to create the lies and cause misunderstanding. And sometimes it is used to hurt people. And often it is the people that are closest to us. Have any one of you have said something so hurtful to your parents that they cried? I did. Last year, my mom came to Singapore to visit me before my bachelor's degree start, and she's here again today. <laughs> At some point of that period, we were talking about my future. Where would I be? Where would I live? after I graduate in Singapore. And I forgot how it got there or what happened. So I said something very hurtful to my mom. I was so afraid that I'll be stuck in Singapore. And I told her, I said, you ruined my future. I had it all planned out. And right now, I don't know where my future is. And when she heard that, she started to cry. And that's the one and only time that I made her cry by myself. I can't imagine why I said that. And I, uh, I forgot the reason. And I, I explained to her, I could have been in America if I had taken the transfer program in Penang, or I could have been studying in London instead of Singapore. It has been more than a year since that happened, and I have not apologized to her. So this is my confession. I still feel guilty about that. Truth to be told, she, she has been a very supportive mom since the day that I came out to her when I'm 16. At the age of 16, I told her that I'm gay, and she accepted me, she supported me, even though she said she, she don't like the idea of that, but she gave me the support. I told her I don't want to stay in Malaysia. I want to get out of this country. I want to go to another country where I can be myself, where there is law to protect me against discrimination, and where I can get married. And she said she totally agreed with me. And at age 17, after the SBM, the O-level, that's when I said I want to get out of the country. I want to, study, I want to take the transfer program in Penang, and I can be in the United States two years later. And I discussed it with my mom and my dad. And there is two choices, the transfer program or to study in Singapore and figure it out later. So through the discussion, even though say, they said I can choose, choose whichever I like, but through the discussion, I can feel that they want me to choose Singapore because it's much, it's much nearer and it's cheaper and also it's much safer than Singapore with all the guns. So when I said I made my mom cry, like I tried to blame it to her, actually it's not her fault, it's mine because I'm the one that made the final choice. I choose Singapore. After my diploma, I really don't want to stay in Singapore. So I said, I want to go to London. Can I do that? And she said she recommend me, recommend me not to because of the cost. And that's when I said what I said. I tell her, you ruined my future. But in retrospect, she has been a very, very supportive mom. She let me be who I am and she gave me all the choices. It's me that I didn't choose it. And she even let me travel to Europe backpacking alone for seven weeks. And, oh no, Emma, don't cry. <laughs> and, yeah. And, yeah, and right now I'm thinking to go to study in Germany and she said I should go 
and Germany the cost is not that high because the education is quite cheap. I just the administration fees. So what I feel is that we should all be more grateful to people that support us. The reason that I said what I said is, be is because we often are so used to people that support us, love us all the time. And because it's a constant in our life, so we took it for granted. We think it should be there. And when they are, they are against our goal, even just one single time, we get upset. We said some nasty thing to, uh, to them. So we should all be aware of what we say to other people because words is one of the most powerful tools in the world. And to end my speech, I would like to deliver my long overdue apology to my mom. So mom, I'm sorry for what I've said that day and I'm thankful for all the support that you gave me. Thank you. All right. All right.